I was playing basketball with my dad, and then all of a sudden I felt like like a rush kind of like to my head. And then we went inside and my dad checked my temperature. EJ had a fever that lasted a couple days. His mom brought him to the hospital. They ran some x-rays. As soon as we found out that EJ had a mass and was diagnosed with lymphoma, immediately they put him in ICU, started doing chemo the day after, where we did meet with Dr. Dagestani and his team. Miami Cancer Institute is really special because we offer all kind of treatment to children in one friendly environment. We spent Christmas and New Year's in the hospital because EJ couldn't go anywhere. Thankfully, with the support of our family and friends and the team of Dr. D and all the nurses, it, we were able to get through it. I call him EJ the warrior. EJ the warrior was a very special child Dealing with Dr. Dagestani, the nurses, the foundation, it's hard to put into words. I mean, I don't know what communities have that in place where you can feel like you're at home when you're going through something like cancer treatment. It was really just a heartwarming experience, an accomplishing experience when I hit the gong. It was one of the most rewarding days as a parent of, of my life. One of the highlights of pediatric oncology is seeing your patient surviving and having a normal life. It pushes me now. I have something to motivate me because I know that I overcame something and that all my family knows that too. I feel blessed and lucky every single day that he continues to be cancer free.